Hello, my name is Tammy, and for the next few minutes, I would like to tell you more about the Health Administration Graduate Program at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. During this session, you will learn about the field of health administration and how our master's program will help you prepare for a role in a rapidly growing field. As we start this program, I am showing you historic Huff Hall, which is where the MSHA program calls home. Huff Hall is located in the central part of campus. Many of our classes are held here and you will find our program's main office and many of our faculty offices here as well. Moving on to some highlights of our program, you can see we are still a fairly new program, having accepted our first class in 2017. We worked diligently to achieve accreditation for our program and achieved this milestone in 2019 through the Council on Education for Public Health, or CEEF, as it is commonly known. CEEF is well known for accrediting many prestigious public health and health administration programs, and we are honored to have this quality designation. University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign is a large research university that serves almost 50,000 students from over 100 countries. Besides research, the U of I is known for our top-notch educational resources and talented faculty. MSHA students have access to the vast resources that are available at a large university, but also have the benefits that come with a smaller cohort-based program, such as small class sizes, instructors that know you by name, and individualized academic and career advising. I'll speak to the hands-on opportunities in a few minutes, but all MSHA students engage in two learning experiences while in the program that can help prepare them for their future careers. This is an exciting time to get involved in healthcare, and we need professionals who are visionaries and positive change agents to address the complex health systems in the US. Health administration is more than just becoming a CEO of a healthcare organization. You can see by this diagram that health administration touches many fields so you can have the opportunity to make a difference in an area that interests you. When looking at the latest numbers from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, medical and health service manager roles are expected to increase over 30% in the next decade, and the median salary has increased to over $100,000 per year. So let's talk a little bit more about health administration careers on the next slide. First, if you mention healthcare, hospitals may be the first thing that comes to mind. And yes, hospitals employ many healthcare administrators, but in looking at the bottom of the slide, you can see there are many different types of healthcare organizations where graduates can find employment. The titles across the top are just a few of the roles our graduates obtained for their first jobs. And if students are interested, there are also administrative fellowships. And these are highly competitive positions, which are mostly found in hospitals. But they are for new grads who want to gain more in-depth administrative experience prior to beginning their career. So let's transition to more specifics about the MSHA program at the U of I. As noted, this is a two-year on-campus program. The courses listed here follow a prescribed sequence and students move through the program as a cohort. There is only one concentration and students select a couple of electives during the second year of the program. So I previously mentioned about the two hands-on experiences, and I'd like to spend a few minutes talking about those now. We refer to these as the APE or Applied Practice Experience, which is your internship, and the ILE, the Integrative Learning Experience, also known as Capstone. These two hands-on experiences give many students clarity about the types of work within health administration they would like to pursue. During the summer between the first and second year of the program, students complete the Applied Practice Experience or APE, which is a minimum 200 hour experience at a healthcare organization where they have secured the internship. Some students obtain internships locally in the Champaign-Urbana area, while others find internships in their hometowns and others search for internships in their dream locations. 
While participating in this experience, students will create at least two deliverables for the organization. Then, during the last semester of the program, students will complete a capstone project, also known as that ILE, for an organization of their choosing. To culminate these experiences, students create a poster presentation as seen here on the left side for their APE and a slide presentation for their ILE. Both of these presentations are conducted in front of their peers, faculty, preceptors, community members, and maybe even a family member or two. We value professional development in this program. We present opportunities in classes and in our weekly program newsletter and highly encourage student participation. These experiences may be on campus, in the community, and or online. Funding may be available for students to use towards professional development activities. So how does the application process work? Well, let's start with the application deadlines. We use a system called SOFIS, which is a centralized application system to collect application materials from interested students. The SOFIS portal opens in late August and is open until May 1st. However, you'll see here that we have other deadlines specific to our program, and they're important for you to know. March 1st is a big deadline day for our program. It is the deadline day for priority scholarship consideration, and it is the final day for international applications since we need to allow time for visa processing. All applications submitted by March 1st will be considered for scholarships. For domestic students, you have until May 1st to submit applications for fall admission, but scholarship consideration is not guaranteed at that point. Applications are reviewed on a rolling basis. So the earlier you submit the application, the earlier you will have an admissions decisions from our program. You'll see the list here of required items for an application. Our website offers more specific details about each of these items. I highly encourage you to review the website before you submit your application so you can ensure your application is complete and competitive. Your first step is to complete the online application in SOFIS. Then you'll submit a personal statement, a resume, and your official transcripts. In addition, you'll need three recommendation letters. Some of our international applicants may need to submit a TOEFL or IELTS English language proficiency score. And you'll notice that submitting GRE scores is now optional. If you have taken the GRE and feel your scores would benefit your application, feel free to submit them. However, if you feel your scores do not accurate, excuse me, accurately reflect your knowledge, skills, and abilities, or you simply have chosen to not take the GRE, your application will still be reviewed in a holistic manner. Tuition for the MSHA program is based on Illinois residency status. In addition, campus assesses certain fees to all students. You can see a breakdown of all costs on the Office of the Registrar's website. Because of our status as a self-supporting program, the MSHA program does not accept tuition waivers unless required by law. Students are able to subsidize their educational costs with scholarships, graduate hourly positions, paid internships, on or off campus employment, or other financial aid resources such as loans. We appreciate you taking the time to learn a little bit more about our master's program in health administration at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Please peruse our website to get additional information or contact our program by phone or email. We wish you the best on your graduate school search.